here at the Paris Air Show 2023, Aeronautics unveiled their latest UAS in their fleet, the Orbiter 5. The Orbiter 5 is going to change a paradigm. What we've witnessed that UEVs mainly used to be male, medium altitude, long endurance one, big platforms. And today at the year of 2023, and especially with the recent conflicts, the world is looking for more tactical UEVs that can be operated from everywhere, that does not require any runway for takeoff and landing, because those are vulnerable assets during uh, conflicts. So the Orbiter 5 is exactly that. However, they still need to conduct uh, very high-end missions and important missions with uh, injection of several payloads simultaneously, several sensors simultaneously, and that's the Orbiter 5. It's a maximum takeoff weight of 75 kilogram that's combining up to 25 kilogram of useful payloads simultaneously, allowing for here, for example, EOAR with laser designator, and in the front, you can find the maritime patrol radar, all of them combined together. Of course, the communication uh, is covered, operation for the communication, and can take off from everywhere, can land everywhere, and that's the basic agenda of the Orbit 5. Tell me about the development process. I mean, how long have you been working on this to get to this stage that we're at right now? The first time that aeronautics were showcasing at uh, the Paris Air Show for many years. But that's the first time that I think that the delegation of aeronautics conducted half of it are marketing, BD personnel, and half of them are the engineers, the actual engineers that, that are part of the team that established and uh, been able to get us the Orbiter 5. It took us many years, it took us several years. The Orbiter 5 already conducted hundreds of flight hours with two uh, operational users worldwide and that's the showcase of it. Um, it's an integration, Aeronautics is a group of companies and you can see the integration between a subsidiary that this is the engine company by the name of Zanzotera. You can find Controp they are doing the EOIR payloads, also a subsidiary of aeronautics. You can find as well Contact, the one that is uh, doing the communication for it, the line of sight communication. So it's a mixture between all of aeronautics assets and all of aeronautics subsidiary in one system. It's a fantastic uh, achievement to, to get to this stage here. And you launched it, as you say, at the air show. How did the launch go? There seems to be a lot of interest. The launch go amazingly. Uh, you saw everything was crowded and packed, even uh, better than what we anticipated. We knew that the Orbiter 5 is going to attract a lot of audience because that's what the market is looking for. The market is looking for, as I mentioned, for male capabilities in a tactical envelope. Um, we understand very good where the mission is going and I think the Orbiter 5 is going to show this paradigm that is changing. Mm -hmm.